There's always a lot of talk about everyday carry in the preparedness community. You know, you can go online and find all different kinds of lists and gear recommendations that people give you. Yeah, you can go on social media and find all different kinds of photo dumps and all this cool, you know, these, these cool pictures that people put up about their everyday carry. And it's really, you, know, you look at it and it's like, man, that's really cool. But the thing is, is that everyday carry should be boring. I'm Todd with Ready Your Future, and this is another Prepper Tip episode. I'm not going to give you any gear recommendations on this uh, video here because I think everyday carry is very personal to every person. It depends on what your needs are. So I want to just give you the six top everyday carry ideas that I kind of think about when I go through my EDC kit. And believe me, throughout the years, my EDC kit has changed a whole, whole lot. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about these. Number one is gonna be, you know, identify your regular activities. I'm not opposed to having kits for different things. Like for instance, I've, I know that I've said this before, when I go on a trip, even if it's in Texas, it's a couple hours away, I have a, a kit that I take that's different than I carry every single day. But every single day, I mean, I know what I do. I mean, I go to the office, I might visit some campuses, I might, uh, come home. I might, you know, it, I'm I'm just around where I'm, you know, in the city, in in the suburbs, and not really bouncing around into the wilderness. My if I wasn't going out to the wilderness or very rural, my EDC would look very very different. So identify your everyday activities, and again, don't be opposed to having a kit just for specific uses, like going on a trip, or if you, you know, there might be. You might be on the road one day out of the week. Uh, I remember when I worked on the ship channel, uh, I, you know, there was a trip that I would go to Geismar, Louisiana every, every week. And you know, that everyday carry would look a lot different than my everyday carry, all right? The next thing is, number two, is, is think about your frequency of use. I carried around a kit for so many years and I never touched hardly any of the gear that I had in there. I had all the regular gear that you would think about and it's just like, you know, I just didn't need that. I'm like, I, didn't, I don't need that, I don't need that. One day I was just going through, and I was like, I just, that's not stuff that I really need. Number three is, what are your typical needs? So if you don't need number two, like your, your frequency of, of needs, what are your typical needs? I can tell you right now, the things that I use the most are gonna be, uh, you know, the, my little uh, medical stuff that I put in there, you know, like uh, if I have, down here in the south and I deal with sinus pressure all the time. So that's one of the things that I have is like I'm very grateful for my little first aid kit that I have in my, uh, you know, in my bag and it is more, you know, medicine and stuff like that that I carry around. The other thing that I, that I use on a regular basis is my Leatherman and not just even a knife like to open boxes and stuff like that, but because I'm around computers and people need they might need some pliers or they need something, you know, to be able to get something open. Uh, my, my Leatherman comes in very, very handy a lot of the times. The next thing is when you start thinking about those two things, right? The frequency of the need and your typical needs and your everyday activities. And the next thing really that you need to do is determine the essential items that you need. And again, like I said, I did away with a lot of the things that I carry on a regular basis. Some of the things that I carry on a regular basis, I would just leave them in my vehicle, you know, that they're not subjected to heat or anything else like that. But, you know, I'm going to be in my vehicle for the most part. And so the, uh, you know, one of the things I already said is, is my, is my knife, right? I use my knife or my Leatherman. Actually, I, I do have a Leatherman. I actually do have a knife, um, in my, uh, in my bag. And so I have both of those, but one of the things that, that uh, the other thing that I carry is the medical. And that's one of those things that I, that I carry on a regular basis. And so uh, those things that I, you know, I always like to make sure that I carry. The other thing that I, I think about and I determine is my container. What am I gonna use as a container? So uh, I use my backpack and that is one, I always have my backpack with me. So I uh, have a, a, a pocket in my backpack where I just kind of have my everyday carry stuff in there. The other thing is I uh, used to have the, the first aid, like my boo-boo kit, uh, you know, uh, in my Altoids 10. And 
I still use that every so often. So depending on, on where I'm at and what I'm doing, I still do that. I have moved to a smaller little pouch that is uh, a little bit more flat um, right now. But if I need to, I have that boo-boo kit. It's right there. It has a couple of other things that the that little flat pouch that I don't need, like for instance, uh, bee stings or your you know uh, insect bites and things like that. I would have those kind of swabs in the boo boo kit, and I don't need I don't I would never use those. So I just don't have those inside of that little flat pouch. And I did a video on that not too long ago, another episode on that one, uh, and maybe I'll I'll link to that one if you want to go check that out. And here's here's the last thing. Here's number six that you really need to to consider is you need to try out your EDC. You're not going. You're not creating your EDC because somebody said, "Hey, you need, uh, you know, you need uh, this and this and this and this." Don't do that. I mean, a lot of people do that at the very beginning, and maybe you'll learn your lesson that you don't you don't need all that junk, right? Um, eventually, you get to the point where you're like these these are the things that I really need. Try it out, and you might find that you are going to be carrying things a lot. Uh, a lot of the times that, you know, they're just automatic. And so like, for instance, as a, as a guy, I mean, my wallet is always with me. My phone is one of those things that's always going to be with me. I mean, if I get in my vehicle and for whatever reason I'm rushed and I don't remember my, my phone, I'm going to go back in and get that. I'm always going to have that Leatherman with me, uh, you know, in my backpack. And if I don't have my backpack with me, I have a, a knife. And if I don't have a knife on me, I have a, a knife in my truck that I can that I can get to, right? A couple of different ones in different places. So I have things with me all the time. And, you, and that's because of just experience and trying it out. And so hopefully that's something that you will do and, and take these these uh, just these six EDC ideas and, and kind of go with it and make them your own. Again, every kit that you make needs to be your own. Uh, you know, just don't go off of a list that you find online or you know a video that you see or something along those lines. You really need to try it out yourself. All right, guys, that's it for uh, this episode. Hey, don't forget if you want to get the blackout checklist, I have that link in the description, and uh, that will help you know what to do before, during, and after a blackout. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. God bless you. Peace.